Hello, viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scholarship Desk. Uh, my name is Frank. And then today I'm going to explain to you what it means by qualified and unqualified uh, on the university admission website in Sweden. Uh, you have probably been uh, applied for a master's program in, in university admissions in Sweden, and you actually do not know what, what qualified or unqualified is all about. Uh, what you can do, basically, is to click down, okay? You click on the more information, okay? On the master's program you have chosen, you click on more information, then you can actually get to know what it means by qualified on the university admission. So now this particular program is computational social science uh, in Lee Chopin University, uh, which, which was applied by a candidate. And uh, it is indicated that the qualified, the person has been qualified for this particular program. Now you have to note that qualified actually does not mean that I mean, you have actually been admitted, no? But it means that you are within the selection group, okay? And once you're in the selection group, that means that you are capable of being admitted to that program or not, okay? So as, the, as it is being indicated here, that qualified means that you meet the entry requirement for this course or program. This does not mean you have been offered a place this will be determined. That means your place will be determined later during the selection okay, process. So once you are qualified, it means that you actually meet the entry requirement. All the documents that, that you were supposed to upload, you did it, okay? And you actually also meet the entry requirement for that matter, you are qualified for that program. Now, what does it mean by unqualified? Okay, you can see that it is being indicated here that uh, the, the candidate is unqualified for this particular program. So let's look at what it is. Now, unqualified means that uh, you don't meet the entry requirement for this course or program. Information on what is missing is provided. You are missing the following specific entry requirement. Specific requirements stated under prerequisite for the program. Now. There, there, there are so many reasons why you may be unqualified. Now, if you're unqualified, one way is that you don't meet the entry requirement, okay? Uh, it's like you have a degree in mathematics and you are applying for master's in chemistry. It doesn't match. You don't meet the entry requirement. Okay, the second way could be that your document, one of your document is missing. So it could be that uh, you have actually not uploaded your degree certificate or your degree, your degree transcript. In that case, in that case, university admissions may send you uh, a message about which document is missing. Okay, about which document is actually missing. Okay, so you have to uh, look for that and then upload it. Okay, so now let's get back to uh, more explanation of the unqualified status. So either you are you don't have the 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 document or you could not upload the document on university admissions or you don't meet the entry requirement. Okay, so you need to ensure that whatever program you apply for, you read the entry requirement for that program and whether you also meet the specific requirement for that program. Okay, because if you don't meet the specific requirement, you can be disqualified for that program. And you have to also make sure that all the information or document needed have been uploaded on the university admission. So now among the four program, note that you can only be admitted into one program. So maybe you choose all four programs and all of them, if all of them shows qualified, you will be given admission 
in only one program. Okay, you only gain admission in one program. And so if you choose four programs, that means you increase your chance to get admission. Because if first choice, uh, if you are not admitted in the first choice program, it means that uh, your second choice program, you may be admitted. If you are not admitted, then it goes to the third and the fourth and that way. So this is actually what is meant by uh, qualified and unqualified. And it is very important that you always check your messages. Okay, you always check your messages to read and then find out if you actually have a message from university admissions. It could be that one or two of your documents is missing. And for that matter, university admissions may send you uh, a message of what is actually uh, missing. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I think you need to do that to get more videos, more processes of what you have to do in order to, you know, uh, get admissions and scholarship in the various universities abroad. Thank you for watching.